Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here, and today I'm with Tom. Tom, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm doing well. Tom is a sound recordist, and he's actually recording all the audio for all of these videos. Right now. And yeah, actually with a mic on you, a mic on mm -hmm. me, and that's the deal. We'll, we'll do a little video podcast later mm -hmm. with this setup. And what is it that we're talking about today? Today we're talking about reference audio and single system sound. Got it. So what is double system sound so that we can understand what single system sound is and reference audio. Sure. Double system sound is when we record uh, the images and the sound on two different devices. Uh, the sound on one device and the image and reference audio on the second device. Got it. So we've got a shotgun mic here, we've got a cable, and it's recording our production audio to this. Mm -hmm. And then you're saying that to the camera, we're recording picture, but we're also recording audio, yes. which is our reference audio. And why yes. do we need reference audio? With the reference audio, uh, in post-production, we can match up the peaks and valleys of the audio signals and just match them up very nicely. Okay, so then we can use our production audio and we can ditch or get rid of Yes. The reference audio. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to make sure that we have reference audio is make sure we're recording sound to this device. Good idea. So I'm going to go into the menu here. We have to make sure that we're in the menu here that has live view movie function set. This is a 5D Mark II, so it's a little mm -hmm. bit different on each camera. And then you're going to hit the set button. It's going to take us in there and scroll down. And we're going into sound recording. And right now, as we can see, the sound is disabled. disabled. So we can't get any reference audio in here if it's disabled or off, correct? Correct. Okay, so we're going to go into that by hitting the set button and then hit the set button again under the sound recording menu. And then you're going to scroll up and we're going to talk first about auto mm -hmm. and what that is. Let's go ahead and get rid of the stand here because then we can give everybody a better view. And if you just hit the set button there on the camera and that activates that, we can see what here. Auto level, yep. automatic gain control. Okay. The camera is trying to find a nice even middle uh, on audio, not too high, not too low, and it's, it's finding that. Okay, and we also see levels here, and mm -hmm. when we see levels, what does that mean? How do we read that? Okay, all the way on the left is minus 96 decibels. Okay. That's no sound. And all the way at the top is zero. And that's where things get distorted. You don't want to go there. So anything above that, we clip. Right. And we get digital distortion. Exactly. Ugly thing. Sounds so where, terrible. Whereabouts do we want to be? So you want to stay about minus 12. That's as high as you want to go. That's the very peak of where you want to be. Okay, so when we're recording audio, we want to make sure that we're keeping our levels at about a minus 12 as mm -hmm. our peak. Yes. And the automatic gain control is trying to do that as best as it can. Mm -hmm. But the thing that we should understand is that it's trying to keep us, and if I walk over here, it's trying to keep me at those same levels. Yes, no matter where you are in the room. And if somebody's having a conversation in the background and we're also talking, it's going to try to keep both of those conversations at the same level. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great feature for reference audio. And in fact, I should show you that on a camera like the 7D, it's a little bit different than the 5D Mark II in that we have a sound recording option here and there's just an off or an on. Mm -hmm. And when we turn it on, we're essentially doing the same thing. We're putting it into the automatic gain control mode. Right. So we need to make sure it's turned on on our camera, but there's an understanding that depending on what model you have, there are slightly different features in the different models. Okay, right. mm -hmm. cool. So we, we now know how to get good reference audio. We know where we're sort of trying to set our levels. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk a little bit about this thing called single system sound and how that works. Mm. Is that cool? That's great. Okay. Single system sound is where you're recording the production audio as well as the images on a single unit. So this is going to be our picture and our production audio to yes. the same thing. Now we have a built-in mic in here, mm -hmm. and that's great for reference audio. It's good. It's very good for what it is, but it is what it is. Okay. So now that we understand single system sound, mm -hmm. if we want to get more effective single system sound to our camera, we could move away from using that internal microphone, mm -hmm. and we could use an external mic like this. Mm -hmm. This one happens to be made by Rode. It's a Video Mic Pro. And what are some of the mm -hmm. advantages to using a mic like this one? Well, this mic is a short shotgun, yep. so it's directional. Got it. It has a nice little shock mount built into it. And this will do a very nice job for you. Okay. So I'm going to plug this in now. See over here on the side of the camera, depending on which model you have, it'll be in a different place. Mm -hmm. We just take this mic and we plug it into the mini jack of mm -hmm. the camera. And then one of the things that we'll see now is that we're not getting any levels. Right. So we have to do what in order to make sure that we get them? Well, it's a powered mic, so it needs to be turned on. Got it. It's a three-position switch. There's off, there's on. Yep. And third position 
is a low cut or a high pass. This cuts down uh, lower frequencies. Uh, it'll help you with wind yep. or handling noise. For a running gun situation, it's best just to leave that on. Okay, so when you're using this for single system in mm -hmm. this type of scenario, and later on we're gonna do a little short clip with this rig built up for mm -hmm. a video podcast, sort of floating on somebody's shoulder, mm -hmm. then it would be better to leave that on. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is on now, and we are seeing our levels, mm -hmm. and, and that's great, but certain cameras like the 5D Mark II and the 60D also have an additional audio mode that we can go into. And right. what's that? Let's take a look at that. And that is manual. Got it. Okay. Ah, so the levels changed completely when we did that. That's right. It's no longer seeking a nice level. You have to tell it which level to, to Got it. To okay. Record so at. then how do we go in there and actually change that level? So you go down to that, right. hit the set button. And now... Turn the dial. Oh, and it's starting to come up. Mm -hmm. Why don't you stand in front of the camera okay. and speak to me, and I'll get a nice level on you. And you are... What are you doing right now? I'm actually adjusting the uh, recording level. And again, to that sort of minus 12? To a minus, minus 12. Got it. And then why do you have the mic up here on a little ball joint? Well, I can aim that a little better right to you. Okay, so adjust. that lets you adjust it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, today we're at the Dancing Cat Saloon. And in a few minutes, we're going to do a little video podcast or sort of travel show segment with a shoulder mount rig. And how's the levels? That's it. We have it. Good. Okay. I'm just going to hit it now. Yep. So you hit the set button again. And, and now it's it set. In. Now it's locked. Okay, good. So now we know that in that position, mm -hmm. that that works out. Now, how far away should that mic be in this configuration? About arm's length, three feet. Okay. And now we're not going to pick up the background noise. We're not going to hear as, you know. It's going to be much better. Yeah, it's really, it's angled and it's just really aimed at the subject. Okay, and it's also not trying to raise those levels like we have with the auto yes. mode or automatic gain control. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's give mm -hmm. people a couple of other tips having to do with single system sound. Mm -hmm. What if we wanted to use a shotgun microphone or a body mic or, or a lav mic mm -hmm. that was XLR based. What would we do in that kind of situation? Well, we could plug either of those kind of mics into a uh, small mixer that's called a Beach Tech box or a Juice Link box. Right. Uh, that'll actually convert them into a, uh, a mini stereo male and that can go into our DSLR camera. Got it. So the last thing we're going to talk about is getting this mic away from the camera so we have a little mm -hmm. bit more flexibility and we don't have to be three feet or arm's length away from it. Mm -hmm. And we can do that with an extension cable, right? Right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a stand over here and I'm going to hand you, um, I'm going to hand you this cable if that's okay. All right. And I'm going to take this off of the camera mm -hmm. and this basically just allows us to place that mic where we want it and now that it's not on the camera, we can go ahead and have a little bit more flexibility as to what kind of lens we want to use. And now you're booming from below. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have our camera and our mic separated from each other. Right. And it just gives us a little bit more flexibility in a production environment. Right? Yeah. Cool. So I think that that's basically reference audio, single system sound. We're going to get this mic back onto this camera. Mm -hmm. Matt's going to come in and he's going to build up a rig and we're just going to do a little sort of travel show segment here at the Dancing Cat Saloon so you guys can see what that picture looks like but also most importantly hear what it sounds like when we have this positioned in the right place and we're doing single system sound going directly into camera with something like the uh, Rode video mic. Thanks a lot Tom. Thank you Jim. So we're here at the Dancing Cat Saloon steps away from where Woodstock happened in 69. Every Thursday night, musicians from all over the place come here and play some of the best music you've ever heard. The bar's behind me, the food is great, and I'm really looking forward to being here with the crew.